Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm back today, guys. I wanted to share a couple of tools that you may not be aware of um, to either jumpstart your your health, you know, getting into a routine of health and uh, focusing on you for like one hour a day. And one of those is this app, and it's called My Fitness Pal. I'm going to zoom in. Right here, it's this little guy. It's by Under Armour, I think, is the one who... Under Armour is a um, like a fitness apparel company. And My Fitness Pal is what uh, Herbalife recommended we use to track our calories and all that stuff. But here's the thing. Um, and I've been on Weight Watchers before. Weight Watchers, uh, they have points, right? And it's based on your caloric intake as well. But for this, it's super simple because you literally track your calories. So every food you eat, you you can you calculate how many calories in a portion and deduct it as you go. So for me, oh, and the other thing is, um, so she set me up with this, uh, my Herbalife um counselor, my life coach. I'm just going to take this exercise off of here. Um, I have 640 calories left today. I don't think I put in um, a couple things. Oh, definitely I didn't. So as you go through the day, you enter in your uh, what you're eating, what you're drinking, and calculate how many calories you have left for the day. And then there's also, um, down the bottom, there's a nutrition pie where you can look at your macros which are <clears throat> carbohydrates fats and proteins and she set me up with a goal to have 40 percent carbs 30 percent fat 30 percent protein for the day and you can see how close you are to meeting those goals um, and that's the tricky part for me because I really don't I don't understand like I'm I'm struggling with my snacks right now because I was telling you guys that um Certain things give me tummy aches, bananas, avocados, eggs. I go to the doctor's tomorrow, and it was really just to check my thyroid, but I'm going to um, definitely be asking her some um, nutrition questions. And um, so, but what I wanted to say was, my husband has the very same app, and when you start it, which, let's see, go to home. If you, um, I don't know, progress, so... I guess if you push that, I don't remember how I started it. Diary, that's my food. Progress. So this tracks how much weight. So if you probably go to progress, you put in the weight that you started with. So get on the scale, put in the weight that you started with. And then once a week, I guess, I've been putting my weight in um, because I get weighed at Herbalife. So I, I started this a little late, but I've lost, according to this, 9.2, but I've lost about 12 pounds. Um, so here's your entries of how much weight you've lost. So it has your profile, goals, challenges, nutrition, uh, meals and recipes. Anywho, it's a fantastic tool that you can use um, if you are interested in um, losing some weight or just keeping track of what you're eating. This actually keeps track of your sodium and your um, all of those things, you know, if you have heart disease and stuff like that. So it's great for anyone who just wants to see what they're putting into their bodies. And it actually kind of makes you look at the labels on things as well. All right, so that's my fitness pal. I'll go back to here. So this is the little blue guy here, this little my fitness pal. It's by Under Armour. And I'll put that in the link um, below the video. The other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, and I actually made a video when I came back from my walk today, but it was a it was a mess. I was all over the place, uh, so I decided to refilm it. But so I told you guys that I just got my iWatch, and this is a great tool as well. Um, for fitness and everyone has the Fitbits now which I really wanted a Fitbit but then Joe was just because we're an iFamily I told you Joe's had his iWatch um, I think this 
he had the first generation iWatch. So we both just got the second series, series two iWatch. And this one's waterproof. So I may even wear this in the pool this summer and I'll let you know how it goes um, when I do, because I want to try and do some swimming. I can swim. I just never found it, you know, it goes up your nose, the water and all that stuff, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try and do laps and I um, mean, we don't have an Olympic sized pool or anything, but I'm going to try and swim and just do it for exercise, little workouts and um, try this in the pool. But so getting back to this, so um, along with the iWatch, you get your iWatch app. So your watch app, I think iPhones mostly come with this now. So it says Sarah's Apple Watch. Um, and then you can set up your watch based on what you see on the screen here. I have um, only certain apps on here. These are my apps. And you can make them bigger and, or, you know. So here's my actual Under Armour Fitness. I've never looked at it on my watch. I always look at this one on my phone. Okay, and then it, look at that. You can scroll up and down. This is fat and protein. My water intake my breakfast so I can add it on here okay I've never looked at this on my watch uh, that's my steps I've done 9,112 steps today because I took a four mile walk today that's what I want to get to um, I went for a four mile walk so anywho I've, I've never looked at that on here but this is my apps I generally don't go into my apps on my iWatch I usually use my phone if I want to but um, you can make phone calls and receive texts, or I can receive phone calls. I've never tried to make a phone call. Um, let's see what this is. Is this YouTube? It says add device. Uh, anywho, it does a lot more than I know of. I've had this for only less than a week, so I'm really not sure about all that it can do. Um, I know that if I scroll down, these are my notifications, so I get CNN notifications. Uh, goal achieved, activity, my, and just email. So that was a Gmail that came. And I can just, you know, kind of at the moment if I'm just busy. Anyway, I'm enjoying it. It's fun. It's, it's kind of cool. Um, this watch was $400, so not cheap. And we put it on the credit card, and we're going to pay it off over a couple months. So it's not a cheap technology um, but put it on your Christmas list or save up for it if you want it because see my little and you can you can configure your face so there's a uh, come on there's a lot of different faces that you can get and I just happen to like this face this is my face this is my fitness my activity so see It'll tell me all. So there's my outdoor walk today, 3.98 miles. Um, and whoop, I want to go this way. Stop. That's my calories. So I beat my calorie goal. Usually I try to, I want to be active for 350 calories a day. And Joe and I can, we don't compete, but we share achievements because you, you have that option. So um, what was I going to say? And then this is, you can do your heart rate. Huh. I didn't want to do that. There we go. So it'll take, it's measuring my heart rate right now, and I'm just sitting at my mm -hmm. desk. Um, but it does take your heart rate while I'm running, while I'm walking, so I can see all that in the, like on here, when I go to my activity, it's bigger. So, like, let's see. That's my calories. Here's my exercise. It is gets you to stand and breathe throughout the day achievements let's see that's my steps my distance I wanted to see if it so let's go to my workouts so here's my workout for today um, here's my heart my average heart rate was 134 I don't know if that's good or not the average pace was 15 point or 15 miles a minute or minutes minutes a mile um, the weather on that day, here's the route I took. It's just really cool technology. And the thing is, you guys, we're, you know, I'm only 53, and I know the gen, like my mom's generation, this was really new to them, and 
te technology can get you in a lot of trouble as well don't get me wrong but it it also can be used for good so don't hate on it and until you look into what it can really be used for for good um, you know I do hate that kids are that kids are constantly looking at their phones and they're scrolling down Facebook all the time. That's inappropriate and it's kind of, you know, it's going to cause some problems. Texting while driving, of course I don't like that, but there are some good things about it, okay? So anywho, that's what I wanted to say about that. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is I watch Ellen from time to time, Ellen DeGeneres, and she's been talking about this podcast called S-Town. And, you know, I'm like, again, it's something new, a podcast, right? But I did, I remembered, I'm like, no, I looked into that before. And I have, let's see, uh, I wanted to go to, like, categories. I don't know. So, cancel. I looked for crafting podcasts, because this was when I first joined the gym, I was thinking, well, I can put my headphones in and listen to podcasts, people talking about crafts or something. Um, you know, because when you're working out, you can't, you're not able to really watch TV or anything. I mean, I bring my phone in and sometimes I'll watch YouTube videos when I'm on the treadmill. But anywho, so I remembered, oh, I have the, I have podcasts. So here's the app. It's this purple app up here. And I believe it's free. I don't remember paying anything for it, although it might not be. Um, you know what? Let me go to my app store and and see if it just, I'm going to put in a search for um, podcast. Podcast search. So here's the Apple one. So this one's called Downcast, and that's $2.99. Maybe I did pay for it. I don't remember. This one's called Overcast Podcast Player. Pocket Cast is $3.99. Um, so it looks like a lot of them um, uh, you do pay. This one looks free. Podomatic Podcast Player. Audible is free. Audible is a book thing. I definitely, I think I want to get that. I'm going to install it because <laughs> I love to read and if I had a book on here, which, you know, see this is something I'm just now, I've had my iPhones and everything forever and you just don't, I don't look into it. Kids do. Kids know how to do that. But anyway, so here's Audible. Um, let's see. Don't allow for now. Welcome to Audible. And then it has you sign in because I'm sure they'll want to get my email address and all that. Yep, email and password. But it looks like once I'm signed in, I'm good to go. Um, so I am going to complimentary excerpts, right? So there's books right here. Here's Kite Runner. I read that book. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. These are just excerpts from books. And I'm sure there'll be free ones and everything like that. So anyway, right, let's get back to the podcast. So the podcast, I went to top charts so right down here it says top charts and the very first one on the list is called s town and this is the one that ellen was talking about so i i downloaded it and there's i think seven chapters s town is a new podcast from serial and this american life hosted by brian reed about a man named john who despises his alabama town and decides to do something about it he asks Brian to investigate the son of a wealthy family who allegedly bragged, has been bragging that he got away with murder. But when someone else ends up dead, the search for the truth leads to a nasty feud, the hunt for a hidden treasure, and unearthing the unearthing of, of the mysteries of one man's life. Um, and I just, I listened to the first chapter and I'm like, so I really can't wait to listen to the second chapter. Um, in the first chapter, you kind of just get to know John. And he calls this po this podcast, this radio personality, to talk to him about this this murder. So see, I'm on the second chapter. There's seven chapters, and they're all about an hour long. Today's was 53 minutes. The next chapter is 48, 54, one hour, one hour, 
47, that's the shortest, and then an hour. So you put that on your headphones, you put on your comfy shoes and some comfy clothes, and you get outside in this beautiful spring air. Well, if you have allergies, it's not so good. <laughs> and the next thing you know, an hour has passed by, and you've gotten in 1,500 steps, or however many steps that is. You know, so um, I just wanted to let you guys know that there are tools out there. So we talked about my fitness pal to help you with your calories and just if you don't even know where to start. Now, here's the thing that you guys might be able to help me with is recipes and ways to prepare food because I'm not a good cook, but I'm starting to. I'm starting to get interested finally in cooking because it's not that hard and it's just a healthier option. And so I wanted to start to learn about how to make myself healthier in the future. So um, there's probably food apps and stuff and healthy cooking apps that I need to look into. Um, so that's all I really wanted to just share about that podcast. It's called S-Town and also about my fitness pal for those of you who just didn't really even know where to start when it came to um, thinking about what you're eating. I also am doing, ooh, I'm also doing Herbalife, which I mentioned a couple times, and I don't think I'm going to continue that forever. Right now, I'm just doing it to lose a little, the initial 15 pounds or so that I wanted to lose. But then I think, because my husband's not doing it, and he's losing weight just by keeping track of his calories. So um, I'm going to see about that. So, uh, but... Don't feel like you can't do it. It's not that hard. Just look into some stuff. It's right at our fingertips anymore, right? Get online, Google it, and see what happens, all right? So I'll put those links in the description box, one for my fitness pal and um, S-Town, the uh, podcast. All right, you guys? Thanks for watching.